Hi everyone, Diane here. This is my pre-hair salon appointment. I'm gonna get my hair done. I might not have them cut much because I want the bangs to be even and they'll be really short. Maybe just cut the ends, but it should be a really short haircut because I want the style to stay the same, just longer. Maybe a little on the sides, but yeah. Just a real simple haircut. Maybe, I didn't tell them ahead of time. I should have, you know, I could have. Like I did once where I just said, I just want you to trim the sides. It was a long time ago. Can you charge me less? And he said, yeah. Because for this cut and color that I do every seven weeks, with a tip, it's $165. I tip $15. It's um, $150 with the cut and color. He's really expensive, but most stylists that are experienced like him are. Well, he was he was expensive even when he was younger. He got training after cosmetology school at Sebastian Center, wherever, it, I think Sebastian, remember Sebastian, well, when it first came out, he was in some kind of training there. He also learned makeup somewhere. He did my makeup a long time ago. So when he worked at a different salon that had a makeup counter with makeup artists, and they would also sell makeup, but I think someone would do your makeup too, for a fee probably. <laughs> but um, it was really expensive makeup. I just wanted to, he wanted to do it, I think I tipped him and that's it. So, but he did a really good job. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll, if the haircut comes out good, I'll do an after to this. If it doesn't come out good, I'll probably put a hat back on. At least I'm getting color because the gray roots are showing. And this hat is really cool. It's from Temu. It's even from Amazon or Temu, but if it's the one I got from Temu, it was only like $3 and they have different shades of denim. It's, it's distressed stressed so and when I'm wearing the shirt I've had a long time because I used to be a men's small before I lost all this weight and um, actually I was a men's medium at one point I got rid of all the mediums thank goodness I kept the smalls so this is like probably five or six years old this is a um, old navy shirt and I have a, a blue one with um, fern I guess it's fern. I have a blue one with fern that almost looks the same. Same pattern, but just different. I think it's, this is navy and green, or like a, kind of a turquoisey green. And the other one I have is like um, a blue and a, and a black, I think. And it also has roll-up sleeves that stay put. But they're both young men's, and I got them around the same time, so. Yeah, I'm bringing out my young men's clothes. <laughs> I gotta lose weight because I don't want my diabetes to come back. It did come back a couple years ago when I gained even more than this. And my A1C was um, without medication was 6.7, which my doctor said is okay when you have known diabetes. It is pre-diabetes, but it might even be diabetes, but they don't give you medication at Kaiser unless you're at 7.0. So they don't think it's necessary. So hopefully I'll go down and wait. So anyways, let's see after the appointment. Oh, and I'm also wearing these. These This is Old Navy. These are um, um, Walmart boys. And they also say, they're big on me and they're boys extra large, they're huge. And they also had a sticker on them that said, okay for uniform, to use on a, on a uniform. I'm wearing my, my kind of new Timex, that's Weekender it's called, with navy blue with red and white. And can you believe it, a Timex? I mean, I think I wore a Timex in high school at one point, but no, I, I never really wore Timex. I know it was in the 70s, it was a very popular brand in the 80s, I think. But um, yeah, here's my hand up close. It's very distressed, even on the edge. So anyways, uh, if it comes out good, I'll do an after. If not, maybe I'll attach this video to a video of a taste test of that uh, Campbell's spaghetti in a can to see if it tastes like SpaghettiOs. So take care, everyone. Bye. Hi, everyone. This is the halfway point. Well, he already cut it, and now I'm getting the color. He cuts my hair before he colors it. I also get eyebrows dyed. So... Um, I've been getting my eyebrows dyed for a really long time because um, my eyebrows are a light brown, more more like a light brown. Well, no. In my 30s, I wore eyebrow pencil to darken them, like a medium brown eyebrow pencil, but 
um, yeah, just like my dad, my my dad's facial hair like is lighter than the hair. My dad has light hair, light brown, but his facial hair was more red. Maybe that's why. But my facial hair is light brown, not dark brown. And I think it looks better when your face, when your eyebrows match, or even if they're darker than the hair on your head, like with blondes. Some some people that aren't natural blondes or whatever, or even blondes that are natural. Have some, some have um, dark eyebrows, like when they're little. So, um, yeah, I dyed my eyebrows. And I'm, just, I'm not going to walk around the salon. It's, it's a real small salon. And my stylist will not allow it. He does not want to be on camera. So watch after this. I'm going to show the after um, of my haircut. I might show it at the salon, or I might show it in my car. Um, but... Yeah, what time is it? Oh, I can't tell. It's probably about 4.30 or... Uh, about 4.30. Oh, someone's vacuuming. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So anyways. Yeah, with the hair salon, they have a lot of hair. They have to vacuum. Tony actually, his old salon, or his stylist, would use a broom and just sweep it up. And this one's vacuuming, so... <laughs> Maybe he's only vacuuming the, the where the um, receptionist sits. Because I think he's, he might be the receptionist. But um, otherwise, um, near the station, I think they usually shave their own hair. So anyways, thanks for watching. And um, I'll make an after video. So anyways, have a good day. Bye. Hi, everyone. Diane here. And... Uh, this is my after, let me see, this is my after hairstyle. I am putting it so out the window, my selfie stick, so you guys can see me. Um, I really like it, and I'm glad I let the bangs grow. Um, he barely cut any of my hair, so that's good. I'm at home now. Um, what else? I might do a eating video tonight, and tonight is Friday night. I might do a eating, and, well, a taste testing video um, later tonight, but I won't post it. I'll post this one tonight, but I won't post it until Saturday. I don't know if it's gonna be in the morning, probably be in the evening or something like that. So, um, and I'll put on a different shirt, so it'll look like a different day. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So, um, Let's see. I wonder if this is too dark. Can you believe it? It's only um, 74 right now in Sherman Oaks. And it was like 106 uh, Monday or Tuesday. It was really cooled down a lot. And it was like 104 and then it was, it's been really hot. So what I'm wearing is, did I ever go over the, oh, I did. I told you on the first video. Okay. So this is the after. It's really cute. I haven't, it. it's, uh, I'm going to keep it in the style, maybe let it grow a little differently, but yeah, I do like bangs on me. So, um, I didn't show you my shoes. These are, uh, Vans. I've worn many times, probably on video. They're, um, let me show you. They're my favorite. They're blue, two shades of blue. That's why I like them. That's why I got them. They had them in all kinds of colors. I have solid black ones that say like Vans, Vans logo on them all over. But these are, I forgot what the brand, what the name of these is. But they're really, they've been making the style forever. Um, these are the low ones. They do make high ones. But um, and they make them in all different colors. Just go to Vans.com and... Uh, that's where I bought them, but I think Zappos have, has them. I'm not sure. And it used to be shoes.com. I think it's now called shoebuy.com. They might have them. Um, I know I buy my Converse. I bought my Converse on Zappos, not on Converse's website. So Converse and Vans are kind of the same. They're classical sneakers that have never gone out of style. So um, they might have both on Amazon. So. Anyways, my dad's been wearing Vans since I think the 60s, um, late 60s. 
Um, when I was a little girl, he did take me with him. And I don't remember if they had kids sizes then, but um, it was nothing fancy. They didn't have skateboard shoes. I think I went there in the early 70s. Um, I don't think they were called like off the wall. I think they were just like my dad wore them. They were, they were lace up, but I think they had slip-ons, but they were just casual shoes, sneakers. They weren't meant for any sport, I don't think, in the early 70s. I don't think they were meant for skateboarding like they are now, like they recently became or whatever, because now all of them say, well, not recently, now all of them say off the wall and it shows like a skateboard logo on it, on the back. I think that's a skateboard. Yeah, see, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it. All right. You know, I can't reverse the camera, sorry. I didn't use Prism and the iPhone doesn't let me do that. So let me just pose for a picture. Let's see. That doesn't show my new hair. This, this might better. Okay. Thanks. I like to take uh, my thumbnail from that. Bye.